I invite Brother Kiran and Kiran's family to come forward with their son for the child dedication service. This is the time of child dedication. We are going ahead with the child dedication. After the child dedication, we are actually having the Holy Communion service also. We'll have the sharing of the Word of God. There is always a question to the father and mother. What name they have decided to give in the praise of God? They must have chosen the name already, but always we declare it. It is good to declare in the praise of God, so that God shall be glorified. Now they have already decided, they know the name, they got the certificate from the hospital, right? Okay, everything is done. But still, in the sanctuary of God, we give importance to God. According to the rules regulation, they immediately have to give their name in the hospital. They brought the child, but today we want to say to the Lord, Lord, this will be my baby, this will be my child, this will be my daughter, this will be my son. And then we begin the child dedication service. So the first question, I'm going to ask Brother uh, Kiran and Sister Jaisri, right? Yeah. What name you have decided to give it to your child, baby boy? Jaden Raphael. One more time, what name you have decided to give it to your son, baby boy? Jaden Raphael. Jaden Raphael, right? Raphael. Okay, all right. Raphael. Okay. All right. Anything special you want to tell about this child that you have selected or how the name has come? Uh, thank God. Uh, this baby is a baby that we never uh, planned or anything. It is truly, truly by the will of God. Because it is after nine years, this baby has been born to us. Oh, what's your elder daughter's age? It's uh, 11 years. 11 years. Second daughter? Nine years. Ah, then the boy? This is now new boy, nine years after the After second. nine years he is born. So, actually we never had any plan or anything to be avoiding baby anything. Okay. We left in the God's hand. In this ah. time, let it be done. Is there any other prophet prophesied from no, anybody no. else? No, this is came, truly came uh, when I was prayer in the morning. God already told me that I am going to give you a baby. Okay. And uh, all the name, everything has been in the morning, in the morning prayer. Ah. So afternoon, actually she got sick. She was not well anything. I told her, let's go to hospital. But before going to hospital, God spoke to me regarding your, you have been, you are going to be pregnant. Okay. And this is the baby's name and this is what all... So you are prophet to your wife. <laughs> Amen. Oh, we all okay. prophet to the nations. <laughs> all right. Okay. Amen. No, but you prophesied on her. Yeah. Uh, so, so because they have decided to bring their child and dedicate their son, uh, Jane and Raphael in the presence of God, they want to dedicate. Let's have a big opening song, please. Let's bow down and pray for this service and especially for the child education service. Loving Father, we thank you Lord for Brother Kiran. We thank you Lord for Sister Jayasri. We thank you Lord for their children. And we pray Lord, the new boy that they are brought into the sanctuary of God. Yes. You shall lay your own hands and touch this baby boy. Yes. Lord, he has told his wife about getting a baby boy for them. Yes. And now you are going to make Jaden Raphael a prophet to the nation. Blessings of God shall restore upon him. And the family shall be blessed along with these two daughters. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen.
Brother Abraham will stand up and read this Psalm, Psalms 102, please. Hear my prayer, O Lord, let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me in the day when I am in trouble. Incline thine ear unto me in the day when I call, answer me speedily. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned as in hearth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. By reason of the voice of my groaning, my bones cleave to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness, I am like an owl of the desert. I watch and am as a sparrow alone upon the housetop. My enemies reproach me all the day, and they are mad against me, are sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of thine indignation and thy wrath, for thou hast lifted me up and cast me down. My days are like a shadow that declineth, and I am withered like grass. But thou, O Lord, shalt endure forever, and thy remembrance unto all generations. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones, and favor the dust thereof. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth shall of the earth thy glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute, and not despite their prayer. This shall be written for the generations to come, and the people which shall be created shall praise the Lord. This is the for he has looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven did the Lord behold the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoner, to lose those that are appointed to death. To declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the people are gathered together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. He weakened my strength in the way, he shortened my days. I said, O Lord God, Take me not away in the midst of my days, the years are throughout all generations. Of old thou hast laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment, and a vesture thou sh shalt thou change them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and the years shall have no end. This is the word of the Lord. Whenever we have a child dedication, you must be noticing, I do not have the same psalm. Psalms will be different. But those psalms, sometimes you may be surprised how it is coming up. But those psalms are connected to their family life. Especially to the head of the family. And when I was preparing this, it was connected to him. They, when they read it, they will understand how their past life was. How his past life, because he's the head of the family. Sorrow, pain and agony. Waiting for bread, waiting for, you know, blessings. And then God slowly brought him up. And now, today, for this dedication, we are going to have a special reading. Every time we have a special reading. And the first reading, Brother Arthur is going to read from the Old Testament. We bring always Old Testament, New Testament, so that you shall be able to understand. These practices of child dedication doesn't belong to any denomination. This is not denominational practices. Any practices that you and I think of denominational, that is not going to bring the bless of God, whatsoever it may be. You surrender your life to Jesus, simple living and perfect doing the will of God according to the word of God, you will, you will be walking into the blessings of God for 100% it is sure. The first reading in regards to the child dedication from the Old Testament, 1 Samuel chapter 1. 1 Samuel chapter 1. And this is in regards to Hannah. And this is in regards to her husband, Elkanah. And when the prophecy came through, you know, Eli, or Eli, or Eli, how, however you pronounce, that surely you are going to have a son. Do not cry, do not weep anymore. What decision she takes, this is what is more important. God gives you the blessing, gives me the blessing. But what decision you take, what decisions you make after you receive the blessing, that is more counted. So here is the first reading from the Old Testament, 1 Samuel chapter 1, 20 to 28. Wherefore it came to pass, 
when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived that she bare a son and called his name Samuel saying because I have asked him of the Lord what introduction I gave it to you everything is from the scriptures all right go ahead and the man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer unto Lord the yearly sacrifice and his vow but Hannah went not up for she said unto her husband I will not go up until the child be weaned and then I will bring him that he may appear before the Lord first time she was barren for a long years her other 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 wives of Elkanah her husband's other wives they had children but she did not after waiting for a long time after getting the prophecy from priest Eli she gets the son after getting the son this is what she does God blessed her with the son and now look into the things that she, that she is deciding she wants to make the child understand about the scriptures understand about the blessing understand how he came into this world and how Hannah got this baby boy come on verse 23 and Elkanah her husband said unto her do what seemeth thee good tarry until thou have weaned him only the Lord establish his word so the woman abode and gave her son suck until she weaned him and when she had weaned him she took him up with her with three bullocks and one ephah of flour and a bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh and the child was young and they slew a bullock and brought the child to Eli and she said O oh my Lord as thy soul liveth my Lord I am the woman that stood by thee here praying unto the Lord for this child I prayed and the Lord hath given me my petition which I asked of him therefore also I have lent him to the Lord as long as he liveth he shall be lent to the Lord and he worshiped the Lord there this is the word of the Lord thanks be to God this is the first reading when Hannah got a son she decided his name his name was Samuel she decided to sacrifice his son for the glory of God because she asked from God and God gave it to her when God gives you something you have to rededicate that to the glory of God this is what they are doing they got a prayer answer they brought their son Raphael Jade and Raphael to dedicate the Lord second thing that we are always reading from the old we have another two more scriptures from the Old Testament but we cannot read them but we are going to the New Testament second reading from the New Testament brother Abraham is going to read and this scripture is uh, Luke chapter 1 verses 57 to 66 this is about child dedication we saw about Samuel that they took him to dedicate but she was preparing him for dedication and John the Baptist the similar case the child dedication is more important it's not a baptism nowhere the child says that you are baptized we as a different sect of you know Christian background we were baptized when we were child especially I but when I came to know the Bible, then I took a rebaptism that is called the full immersion of water baptism. John the Baptist is the one who was also dedicated when he was born. Luke chapter 1, verses 57 to 66. Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. And her neighbors and her cousins heard how the Lord had showed great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child and they called him Zacharias after the name of his father. And his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called John. And they said unto her, There is none of thy kindred that is called by this name. And they made signs to his father how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote saying, His name is John. And they marveled all. And his mouth was opened immediately and his tongue loosed and he spake and praised God. And fear came on all that dwelt round about them and all these things were noised abroad throughout all the hill country of Judea. And all they that heard them laid them up in their heart saying, what manner of child shall this be? 
and the hand of the lord was with him this is the word of the lord thanks be to god this is second dedication that we see of course it's the first dedication in the new testament but about john the baptist who was dedicated after 8 days who was given the word from the lord the angel of the lord came and spoke to elizabeth as well as zacharias but zacharias did not believe that's why his mouth was shut whenever some prophecy comes don't doubt even if it comes from the flesh of a servant of god he is speaking from his mind suppose i speak from my mind from my flesh but yet you don't doubt you just take the word saying that in the praise of god somebody has spoken because the servant of god when he speaks the word it will not fall on the ground the servant of god from south africa was saying it will always bring the result of god and that was the result and then it was mentioned about his dedication and his name given by the angel of the lord now the third reading brother nijon is going to have the third reading the third reading is going to be from st luke chapter 2 verse 21 to 32 this is very very important reading this is in regards to jesus christ our lord even jesus christ of nazareth was dedicated when he was born elizabeth's sister was called mother of jesus mary she was conceived after elizabeth that's why john the baptist reading we took it for the first chapter of luke and then mary became pregnant after 6 months and jesus christ of nazareth our lord was born and the scripture says Luke chapter 2 verse 21 to 32 And when 8 days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child his name was called Jesus Amen which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb And when the days of her purification according to the law of law of Moses were accomplished they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord As it is written in the law of the Lord every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer sacrifices according to that which is said in the law of the lord a pair of turtle doves and two or two young pigeons and behold there was many in jerusalem whose name was simeon and the same man was just and devout waiting for the consolation of israel and the holy ghost was upon him and it was revealed unto him by the holy ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the lord's christ and he came by the spirit into the temple and when the parents brought in the child jesus to do for him after the custom of the law then took he him in his arms and blessed god and said lord now thou lettest thy servant depart in peace according to thy word for my eyes have seen the salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people a light to lighten the gentiles and the glory of thy people israel this is the word of god thanks be to god i request brother and family to stand up come
final responsibility questions to Brother Kiran and Sister Jayasri that we are going to ask these questions and then the ushers will come and pray for them responsibly with the two groups. The first question, this is all about responsibility, that's all. Will you raise your son, Jaden, Raphael, to the Christian faith that Jesus Christ of Nazareth came into this earth, died on the cross of Calvary, was buried in the tomb, and rose again on the third day? Both of you have to answer. Yes. Will you encourage your son, Jaden, Raphael, in the word of God, and also teaching and admonishing the Holy Bible and Jesus Christ, the main theme of the Holy Bible, both of you? Yes. As parents, will you support your son and other children that God has given unto you to take care of them, take care of their needs until they are standing on their own? Yes. Will you guide your son, Jade and Raphael, along with the other children to make them understand the teachings, the laws, the commandments of Jesus Christ, our Lord? Yes. All right. Parents, again, will you continue in the truth and the faith that you have come to know that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is our Lord. Will you teach the same to your children? Yes. All right. Sing your faith. We want to pray for you, both of you, as well as Jaden. The first group will come and pray, and the second group will come next. Perfect gift is from the Lord. We thank you for the gift that you've given, Lord, Brother Kiran and Brother yeah. Sister Jayashree, Father Lord. Children are a heritage of the Lord, and fruit of the womb is thy reward. We put, Lord, Jaden at thy feet, Father. We seal him with the blood of Jesus, Lord, from the crown Amen. of his head to the soles of his feet, Father, Lord. Hallelujah. According to Jeremiah, you say, Lord, you knew us before you were born. You fashioned us in the womb. I have ordained, I have Thank sanctified you, you and made you a prophet to all the nations. And we pray that this promise shall be fulfilled in Jaden's life, Almighty Father, Lord. We bless him, Father, Lord. We pray that every generational curse is broken, Father, Lord. He shall be a blessing to the family, Lord. Blessing to the parents, Father. Blessing to all those around him, Father, Lord. And you will use him for your glory and honor, Almighty Father, Lord. As we seal in the blood of Jesus, Lord, we claim he shall be like David, Lord, seeking after your kingdom at a young age, Father, Lord. Like Abraham, obeying your word and Lord, listening to your word, Almighty Father. Like Jacob, on which the nation of Israel was formed, Almighty Father, Lord. He shall be a blessing to the family, Almighty Father, Amen. Lord. Bless him mightily, Lord. Give him good health, Lord. We put his future into thy hands, Father. And we pray that you will lead and guide him, Lord. And he shall be, Lord, a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. The head and not the tail, Lord. And all blessings shall overflow him, Father, Lord. We put for you, Brother Kiran and Sister Jayashree and the family, Lord. We pray Hallelujah. that you will bless Thank them, Lord. Lord. They yes. should be united in you, Lord. Amen. In prayer, Lord. In reading the word, Father, Lord. In devotion, Lord. In fellowship, Father, Lord. And you will bless them mightily, Lord. And we claim they shall be blessed in their job, Almighty Father, Lord. In good health, Father, Lord. The children shall be blessed, Father, Lord. Amen. They shall reach their highest position, Father, Lord. Give them wisdom to study, Lord. Good health, peace, joy. Thank and you, this Lord. family shall be blessed in union with you. We thank you, Lord, that they have dedicated the child. And we pray all blessings shall overflow them. This we ask the Father in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I request both of you to hold the child. Both Loving Heavenly Father, shall grow in the wisdom of God. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord. He shall, day by day, he shall be sanctified by your grace. Hallelujah, Lord. He shall grow in your wisdom, knowledge and understanding, Lord. As the Bible says, know your creator in the days of your youth. Hallelujah. This child shall know the creator the days of his youth, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. He shall grow full of the wisdom of God, knowledge of God, understanding of God. Hallelujah, Lord. We surrender brother Kiran and his wife, Jayashree, into your holy mighty hands. Lord, help them to bring up this child in the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. And feed him, Lord, with the word, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray this child shall walk in the spirit. He shall be led by the spirit, Lord. Hallelujah. All blessing that is written, Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. We speak upon this child, Lord, upon this generation in Jesus name hallelujah Lord this whole family shall be covered and be sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ this child shall have good health and long life as he grows he shall grow in the in the favor of God in the favor of men hallelujah full of the power of the Holy Ghost Lord hallelujah he shall be a soul winner Lord we bless your holy name we give you all the glory thank you Lord hallelujah Lord hallelujah as we pray Lord the anointing of God shall rest upon this child this family and Lord and the generation shall serve you hallelujah surely good Goodness and mercy shall follow them all the days of their life, Lord. They shall be sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. We bless your holy name. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and ask. Amen. And they brought young children to him that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me 
and forbid them not for of such is the kingdom of god verily i say unto you whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of god as a little child he shall not enter therein and he took them up in his arms put his hands upon them and blessed them this is the word of the lord thanks be to god the scripture that you have read in regards to the children when they were coming to jesus disciples were, disciples were with jesus they said no 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 you cannot go to jesus you have to leave him alone stand far off far off and they were making probably noises and during that time yet the lord jesus told the disciples and apostles do not touch them do not say anything to them let them come to me and he took the children in his arms and he blessed them and dedicated them tonight also jed and rafael we bring unto him in the presence of the almighty god and we pray the power of god shall restore upon him he shall be a blessed child to the family and he shall glorify the living king of kings and the lord of lords father we pray rafael jed and rafael shall be blessed according to the word of god we lift him up and we bless him in the name of the father and of the son jesus christ our lord now and forever and ever amen, amen. god bless you once again all right okay you can hold your hand right hand right hand Let's congratulate Kiran and Sister Jaisri and their son Rafael. God bless you all. God bless you, Sister. God bless you. Certificate of baby dedication, Jaden Rafael. Father's name Kiran Babu. Sister's name Jaisri Sridhar. God bless you.
Is your child?